There's a simple way to make Siri much smarter and much more useful by combining Siri with AI with ChatGPT. Let me show you how it works. First, let me show you the difference between Siri and Siri Pro. Hey Siri, give me the top 10 travel destinations. I found this on the web. So all it could do for most things is pull up a search result from the web, right? But check this out. Hey Siri Pro. What's up? Give me the top 10 travel destinations. One sec. One, London, England. Two, Paris. So same question, right? But I got actual results. What I want Siri to actually do for me, not give me a web result. So two things you need to make it happen, and I will link both of them in the description below to make it easy to find. The very first thing you need is you need an API key from openai.com. Now this is the company that makes ChatGPT and you could create an API key once you make an account. So if you click my link, it will just take you to this page First the login page, then this page, then you press create a new secret key. Now this API key, make sure you don't share this with anyone and you won't be able to view it again. So make sure you copy and paste this. I'm gonna select all. Make sure you click select all or press the green here and then just click and press copy. Now you won't be able to copy this again. So make sure you'll save this now for the next page. You could also make another API key and actually delete this one if for some reason you lose it. And the second thing you need is a shortcut that will open up in the Shortcuts app. This is called Siri Pro. Again, I'll link it below so you could find it. And then you could just press Add Shortcut over here. Then you will open the Shortcuts app. And this one is actually from the App Store. So if you search for Shortcuts, you already have the Shortcuts app. You just don't have that actual shortcut. Now, a couple of things we need to do. We need to press and hold on here and we need to edit this shortcut. And you could rename it if you don't want this to be called Siri Pro, you could name it Kevin or John or whatever you want, but whatever you name it, that's how you're going to ask for it when you press and hold the side option to pull up this version of Siri. So name it or just leave it the same. But in this text box, you have to type in that key. So just click here and paste that key. I already pasted it, I'm just blurring mine. You should not show yours to anyone because it's linked to your actual account. And then if you scroll down, there is this other option called ask for text. And then you could click and type in what you want it to say to you. So mine, when I showed you in the beginning, when I said, hey Siri Pro, it said, what's up? But you could have it say something else like hello or anything you like, but that's all you really have to change. The key is that API key. Make sure that is right and you copied and pasted it correctly. If you haven't for some reason, pasted it correctly or you forgot some of the digit, you may get an empty text box as a result when you do this. So I'm gonna press done. Now, if you tap this box, you could actually ask it a question, but you have to allow it access. So I'm gonna ask it, when was iPhone made? And I'm gonna press done. And if it's your first time using it, it's gonna ask you to allow it to access the Open API website. So you have to press allow, but since I already added mine, it didn't ask and it just gave me the answer to my question. So if you press allow, then you'll get an answer and then you could press done. Now you gave me a text-based answer because I asked it using just a click option here inside of the Shortcuts app. But what I could do is actually press and hold on the side, but I'm gonna say Siri Pro instead of Siri. Hey, Siri Pro. What's up? Give me the recipe for the best apple pie. Ingredients. Two one quarter cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt. One now, if you ask Siri the same exact question, if you said, hey Siri, and ask it the best recipe for apple pie, it's actually just gonna give you web results, right? It's not actually gonna give you anything. So this has the power of open AI and the API behind that in order to be able to use that kind of tech. Now, if you don't wanna use voice, what you could do is you could press and hold and share this right here and add it to a home screen and then you could just use it as a regular app. So you could click on it, I'll press add. It's over here now, so I could click on it and then type my question if I don't want the verbal version of Siri Pro. Again, the links are below to make it easy to find and I'll see you next time.